In this tutorial, we will cover the features available through Accounts Panel. The Accounts Panel presents account information and permissions of features in their pricing plan. Let's start by going through the account information. The first sub-panel of account gives details about the application ID, which is a unique identifier for every application, and start and expiry date of your account. It would be a good idea to know the app ID as it will be important for searching your app for preview on Virtue App if it's not. Under the account quota, the product limit specifies the maximum number of products that can be created. Kiosk limit specifies how many kiosks the application can be ported to, and the disk space specifies the total storage available. Next up, the channel sub panel describes the status of the application starting with whether it has enterprise features, followed by its availability on Android, iOS, and the web. Moving ahead to the permissions section, we get to see which channels the app is available on between website, app, and kiosk. Observing the features, the ones highlighted in green are available for usage, and the features that are in yellow are not. You can see the different sets of features available depending on the pricing plan you are on and enterprise customers get the maximum features and support. Let's move on to building our first app with the concepts we've learned. Like, subscribe and share the video if you found this helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any queries or send an inquiry to hello at the rate